Hello, this is Tom at the Tractor Rescue Ranch. This is video two of this three-point hitch build. What I did, I had a, I believe, I'm not sure, so don't quote me on it, but I believe these parts came off of one of the old Alice Chalmers four-point hitches. I got out of a boneyard these parts here they were all froze up froze up really bad I had to use a lot of heat and, and a big pipe wrench on them to get them broke loose but I got them broke loose and and got them to where they greased up and they're turning easy now so I that's where I got these parts from so that's what it originally looked like way too short so what I've done here I've got one side done I just cut that one inch bolt off and that's a <clears throat> piece of heavy gauge pipe that fit in that one inch bolt that I've got welded in there and then put the link back on that other side so this has a an adjust, adjustment on it, a little bit of adjustment to go up and down and then I can adjust it in here to go higher or lower as well depending on where it needs to go. So I'll have to get some proper bolts there and get this other side done and that way we'll be one step farther I think I forgot to mention in the last video this Ferguson sycamore the main reason I wanted it I've got about an acre of of hay down in what we call the spring pasture there's two acres down there and one acre is quite wet and so I can't get on it to cut the hay in the fall and when you cut it with a swather in the fall, it's just too thick. It plugs up my swather, too thick to cut. And also when it's laying in the wind rolls, it doesn't dry as easy. So I'll be using this down there on that one acre piece to cut it and just let it lay out to dry. And then I can rake it and, and bale it up. Those two acres down there that are wet, produce almost as much hay as the other 11 acres that I've got. So it's pretty important for me to be able to get that hay put up down there and this will make it a lot easier. Uh, the thick, pretty much the only thing that's missing off of this was that power takeoff shaft. That's all I've got on it here. So. I'll have to, I think that's an easy thing to get the parts and the U-joint, everything that hooks onto the power takeoff. I think that's an easy fix. I think that stuff is available. So anyway, there is where we're at. kind of hard to hold that camera and 
stand on that because it won't go back down unless I got a little bit of weight on it. But anyway, got that going up and down now. One step farther. Thanks for watching.